All right, guys, you asked for it. We are going to do our best to deliver. This is going to be the rigid 18 volt subcompact 3 8 inch impact wrench up against the Milwaukee M12 3 8 inch stubby impact wrench. Let's see what they do against each other as far as how much they can fasten and how much they can remove. We'll do that on the bench, do it in 10 pound increments, and I'll do it as efficiently as possible. Let's get to it. Quickly, the specs on the Rigid is 225 foot-pounds. Specs on the Milwaukee is 250 foot-pounds. Fully expect the Milwaukee to win here, uh, but this is just for fun and because you guys asked for it. When you look at their size, the Milwaukee is much larger and just at least in the head. When you get to the bottom, we all know that the Rigid's kind of got a big butt. We're going to try to do this efficiently. We're not going to go through the push buttons and all the fun jazz. We're going to go level three and give it and see what they do. Look guys, this bolt isn't perfect. This test isn't perfect, but we're going to give it a go and see what happens and do our best to stay very consistent. That's not going anywhere. So interestingly enough, that took 153 pounds to remove. This is not consistent with what happened yesterday. So I'm very interested in what this is going to do because we did change sockets. That took 159 pounds to remove. Very, very interesting as it is a change from yesterday. And again, not super scientific here, but we're gonna just give it a go. As far as what they will remove, I have this set up for 160. Let's see what happens. Rigid took it out, no issue. Milwaukee, zero issue. We'll go up to 170. Both no issue at 170. While I'm putting this together, it's kind of an interesting fact or thing that's happening with having a deep well on here. And I'm not sure if I can blame it on the deep well or if it's just a better quality impact. Here's 180. Took it out, no issue. No problem there.
we also could be dealing with a little bit of issue with the threads in here. They look good, but we'll see as we keep going. Here's 190. And we stripped out our hole, which could mean or be a little bit of why we had some differences. Let's try to find another one of these holes that's going to be good enough. Tap that and I'll be right back. Oh, we broke the bolt. All right, we broke a bolt, got it out. I'm going to try this again. I might be right on the edge of where these bolts are happy. It is definitely over torquing them. We're at 190. Yeah, I'm running pretty decent bolts here. We're going to have to figure something else out. This is super frustrating. Um, one, the bolt won't take 190 foot pounds. And if I go up, I don't have a tap to go to a larger size bolt. And I would work on getting a tap, but I don't have sockets that go larger than three quarter, four, three eighths. So then I'm into an adapter and all this stuff. This is one of the reasons why it's really hard to test these impact wrenches without super expensive uh, equipment and to buy that super expensive equipment I'd have to be pretty biased for somebody to send it to me and I'm not saying other people are that way that's not the point of it I just uh, being open about all this stuff and telling you what happens doesn't always bring in the money if that makes any sense so what does intrigue me though is yesterday on the rigid we were able to get 80 foot-pounds removing it with the shallow well socket so I was able to drill that out. I'm going to go back and just test that out. And, and I think that if nothing else, I can say either I have inconsistent, you know, performance with the rigid or something. Shallow well, same socket I used yesterday. Setting three. Same exact torque wrench. Same exact number. So weird, 82.7, we were in the 80s. Deep well, same brand. I have to do that one over. Ninety-seven four. Wow. One more time because that was kind of screwed up. We're just loosening the nut now, breaking it. That was 52. That makes no sense. What is going on here? I think the whole tap and everything is letting loose. So that didn't go well either. Um, at least I proved at least initially I went back to the 80 foot pounds 
with the new bolt and, the, and this hole that I have in there is getting whopped out and lubricated and uh, Jesus. I didn't prove anything. Um, what I can tell you is a little bit of long-term experience. Uh, this impacts more like an impact driver. It's very fast in not hard hitting. The Milwaukee Stubby seems a bit slower on the IPM in harder hitting. I firmly believe that this dude would wallop all over the rigid if we could have come up with something that was equal in testing. And I think you guys believe that too. You just wanted to see it. Hell, I wanted to see it. And I think it would have been great. Um, so this has 3,200 IPM on the Milwaukee, and I believe it's 3,800 IPM on the rigid. So 600 IPM, is that a big deal? You definitely can feel it, and it makes the Milwaukee feel a lot stronger. So apologize here again, failure. I feel like some of these rigid tools are pushing me over the edge and I am not getting it right. Uh, either way, hopefully it was fun to watch stupid stuff happen. And I'm going to try to perfect this. If one of you guys has some great options for me that are affordable, that we can put together and make this work, I would love to see some sort of testing upwards of 250 foot pounds on these tools. But to me, the bolts have always been what's limiting me and I think I'm using pretty dang good bolts. Sorry for this, guys. I tried. Please still give me a like on this video. It always helps us out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, thank you for your time. Have a great day.